Okay, it looks like my camera's working now. So, hey, guys, people. Um, I have a an urgent message. I actually did this message 30 minutes ago, and uh, my camera was not working. So I had to, re I'm, I had to restart my computer, uh, redo it all over. So here I am to do this uh, urgent message that I have uh, been given a mandate from God to do a video. And just want to come on here real quick and tell you guys what he has uh, told me to release. So last night, um, I went to sleep praying over the president, praying for the nation, just praying in the spirit. I actually, I just prayed in the spirit and I, I said, Lord, I'm just asking you to target prayer as I pray in the spirit that you would target our president and uh, pres you know, target him for his health, for his well-being, for his strength. And um, around four, between somewhere between four and five, I woke up with a dream. And uh, actually, it was it was an ex an encounter. So in this encounter, I heard the Lord, and the Lord said, "Reese howls, war horse. Reese howls, war horse." So I kind of woke up out of that, made a mental note of it, and kept saying, you know, okay, Lord, I know who Reese Howells was. I know who he is, was. Um, I know what that means. And uh, kind of drifted back into the dream. Uh, I kind of was in and out of this dream encounter. And the next thing, I saw myself as a war horse. I was actually in battle array. I was in like that war horse regalia that I was wearing battle gear and in the dream I was doing a video and I took the book Reese Howe's Intercessor off the shelf. Now those of you, this this message people, this message is for the prayer warriors, the intercessors, this is for the warring bride, the warring bride of Christ, okay? This is who this is for. This is for you that are warring on behalf of this nation. You're warring on behalf of the president. You're warring on behalf of the destiny of the nation, uh, of the destiny of this nation, and really of nations. You are on the wall. You are, you're, you're, I don't care if you're an intercessor, if you are a prayer warrior, or if you are just, or if you are a person of prayer, but this is who this is for. You know who you are. Uh, many of you will know who Reese Howell's intercessor was. You know the book by Norman Grubbs. Um, anyway, in this dream, I took the book down off the shelf. Powerful book. Read it about 12, 15 years ago or so. Don't really remember exactly when, but I read it a while back. Changed my life made me just really uh, hungry to to be a to, to be able to intercede in the way he did. Reese House was used by the Lord he in, in during World War II to shift the war. He and his company that he had raised up of young prayer warriors, he started a Bible college and he actually uh the prayers of this man and his company shifted uh, the shifted the nation, shifted the world. World War II shifted that war to the victory, to defeat Hitler's army, and to see the victory. So in this dream, the Lord said, "said Reese Howell's war horse." Reese Howell's now not possessive, as in this is Reese Howell's war horse. He's talking about Reese Howell's was a war horse. Reese Howell's war horse. He's making a statement. I took that book off the shelf. And I begin to do this video, and I said to the people, we must war like Reese Howell's ward. We must fight in the spirit and war over this nation. We have 30 days to shift it, 30 days to change, 30 days to shift this nation. And that's what I told the people as I was dressed in that war horse regalia. Now, you know... I, I, called several of my intercessor friends when I had the dream. Uh, my friend uh, Victoria, she said, today's October 3rd. This is 30 days before the election. I didn't even realize that, honestly, um, until she pointed it out. So 30 days. We have 30 days. Now, I also want to point out, uh, now, now listen, Reese Howes and his company of prayers, they didn't just say a morning devotional, okay? They were interceding night and day to shift that war. Guys, we are in a war. This is not this is not a a uh, this is not a, a cakewalk. We're in a war for the soul of our nation. 
This is not about the president. Listen, don't get hung up on thinking this is Republican and Democrat. This is about a, the soul of the nation. This is about a desti the destiny of the United States of America and what God purposed and designed her to do. He's just happening to use this president for his purposes and his plans. And let me tell you something. I had an encounter back in October last year before this economic downtown, downturn. God gave me a dream and showed me there was going to be an economic downturn. And in the dream, I was talking to the president. This is last year. And I told him it is imperative for you to have your next four years for what the Lord intends to do through you. I'm telling you people, I don't care whether you like him or not. It does not make any difference. You need to draw back and see the bigger picture of the plan of God over this man. We, we, we have, we have 30 days to shift this. You think that you are, have seen bad times if you, you think you've seen bad times, you think that you've seen slavery and bondage and all this other junk in this nation, you haven't seen anything. If this president does not get his next four years, you will know Babylonian captivity. Okay? I'm not joking with you. This is not a cakewalk. And I'm asking you all to pray like you've never prayed before. Pray like Reese House prayed. If you you can look him up, I'm going to put some links in the bottom of this video. I want to put a few links down there to. There's actually you can listen to the audio book online if you want to. Chapters 34, 35, and 36 talk about how he, uh, how the Lord spoke to him during the battles, the Battle of Dunkirk, and uh, just the different battles uh, of the war and how the Lord spoke to him strategically. He will speak to you strategically. He will speak to us str strategically. Pray in the spirit. Pray long, pray hard, pray strong, fast, pray do uh, do the work that you're that you're called to do as an intercessor, as a watchman on the wall for this nation. If you are concerned for this nation and for your grand your children and grandchildren and great grandchildren, you must pray. This is our finest hour. Uh, I also want to share really quick. I don't want this video to be very long, but I want to. I'm also going to uh, give you a link to Dutch Sheets podcast where he was at uh, uh, Glory of Zion about a week ago. And he told about a few dreams that some people had. One of the dreams that the Lord reminded me of today, he brought this back to me after I woke up and wrote down the dream that I'd had about Reese Howe's war horse. The Lord reminded me, I want to read just a tad bit of this. Um, I made some notes and um, I don't remember if it was Clay Nash or if it was someone that Clay Nash knew that had this dream. But um, in the dream... Dutch Sheets and I think uh, this dreamer and some others were at Cape Henry, which is where the Mayflower had landed. Um, they stepped out onto the land and the cloud of witnesses was there. This is the cloud of witnesses that's referenced in the Bible. Um, and in the dream, they stepped out. Reese Howes. Reese Howes stepped out. Oh, out of this cloud of witnesses, and he began to pray over them. And this is what I wrote. This is what he prayed. And I may have missed a word or two, but I'm going to put that link in there so you can go to that link and listen to Dutch tell uh, this. Um, he said, let those who are to break up the fallow ground plow deep so the soil of this nation can be prepared uh, for... For the seeds of righteousness to be sown, to see the wealth of covenant open to flow across this nation, resulting in an abundant harvest. Then he placed his coat over Dutch Sheets' shoulders. Now, Dutch Sheets represents the praying army, God's prayer army, his ecclesia, his governing body, those that know how to legislate by the Spirit, in the Spirit, by the Spirit. This is the coat that he wore during World War II. And this coat, this mantle, must be worn by the governing body, by the ecclesia. And he said this. He spoke and he said, the training is finished and it's time to go to war. And October will see the turning of the war. He held up a scroll with a wax seal. The seal will be broken in October and the words from it will be activated and will release a holy awe. Get ready for October. God has been planning some things. He's going to trump what the enemy is doing. He's getting ready to release something, and we need to speak the now words and agree with God's word. Now, that was some of the things that was said. A reset is coming. Um, this also goes along with something that a couple of other dreamers have had. Uh, anyway, but the other thing I want to say is that my friend Dot, 
was told by the Lord to pray Psalm 27, 28, and 29 for the 30 days through October. Also, uh, I was on a prayer call earlier today, and I mentioned that, and another lady said that the Lord had spoke the same psalms to her earlier this year, three months ago, and told her to begin to pray those psalms over the president and over our nation. So I want to leave that with you. Um, I'm, at, I'm a little over 10 minutes, so I want to just bless you. I want to thank you for praying. Once again, fast pray. We must pray for the next 30 days like Reese Howells prayed. If you don't know how he prayed, I'm going to give you some links and you can research him. Find out. I know that, that those who know, know. Because those who are, are intercessors probably have, have researched. They've read that book and they've uh, looked into that. But I, I just want you to... Uh, know that this is our this is our time. This is the time for the body of Christ to do what she, what the the warring bride of Christ is called to do. Get on the wall, pray and fast, pray long, pray hard, pray in tongues, pray in the spirit, and 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 God's going to shift it. Okay, God's going to shift it. All right, you guys be blessed. Have a great day.